Every four years, the Olympics is held to decide the best basketball country. The problem is the US has won it 16 times out of 19 appearances. So today, we're only letting one player represent each country with basketball imperialism. And every country is invited. The best basketball player, regardless if they've been in the NBA or not, is on the map. I spin this wheel to decide which country is on the attack, and I spin this arrow to decide which direction we're going. And our first spin has going southeast, which means Russia was attacking Japan. But a team of Russia full of Andre Karolenkos was too much for Japan and Rui Hachimura to handle. Russia dominated and they overtook their land. So now Japan was no more and it was a part of Russia. We'll be doing this until there's only one country standing left ruling the entire world. All right, so our first actual spin of the video lands us on Germany and the arrow's gonna point us into southwest direction, which leads Germany right into France. We got Dirk Nowinski versus Victor Wembinyama. Okay, Victor's down by nine right now, but the thing is he's literally a glitch. Victor's going all the way, he's just too long. Even though Victor was down seven early in the second quarter, that lead wouldn't last. The man was unstoppable. Victor, they're running the same play. They got Victor on the baseline again. He's going in for a floater. The sheer speed of Victor Wembinyama was looking like too much for Dirk to handle. Three point game, Dirk, you still have the lead. Dirk, mid range, Dirk, that's a great shot. He misses it. Wembinyama, you have a chance to cut it to one or take the lead here. 40 seconds left. Wembinyama top of the key! Wembinyama misses it! And with 16 seconds left, Dirk had two free throws to put it back up by three, and he wasn't gonna miss these. Victor, you were down by three. You need a three-pointer or you need a quick two, and you need one of them quick. Victor shooting the three! With 10 seconds left on the clock, the young kid from France, Victor Wembinyama, would pull up right in Dirk's face to try and ice this three-pointer and tie the game. And you need one of them quick. Victor shooting the three! He's putting it in the three! It's a tie game! Victor Wembinyama for three! Victor did it! He would tie the game, but right after this, he would foul Dirk Nowinski and give him two free points at the line. But the young kid from France was determined. He'd go down the court when Dirk was pressing and find another Victor wide open for three in the corner and splash it in! Victor was up by one with two seconds left. Dirk, you have two seconds left! You had to bound the ball! Dirk's just pulled from half court! There's no way Dirk's making that! Dirk Nowinski! is eliminated. So with the first game done, Germany and Dirk are out, and France take their land and they expand. Next match, we have South Africa, and they would travel southwest to face Mono Ginobili and Argentina. But this game wouldn't be close, as Argentina won by over 20 points and takes South Africa's land. Okay, next spin, what do we got? South Korea, we got Canada! And which way are we going? We're attacking a little bit northeast, which means Steve Nash and Canada were going straight into Greenland versus Peter Barber. If you guys don't know, this man was a college player, Peter Barber, yeah bro, he stands no chance! Steve Nash just gonna go all the way to the rack here. Yeah, Steve Nash is blowing by him. Steve Nash all the way. Nash will show off his two-time MVP form, and they dominate Greenland and take over their land. Okay, next spin on the wheel here. We got a lot of countries. Obviously, we're getting an African one. We're getting Sudan. Where is this arrow gonna point us? We're going straight down south. Sudan is attacking Congo, which has Dikembe Mutombo in it. Manu Bull versus Dikembe Mutombo. Manu, you got a couple seconds left on the clock here. He's giving it to the top of the key. He can shoot threes. He puts it in. Top of the key, Manu Bull. He can shoot over anybody. Dikembe, what do you got? You do have the strength on him. If anything, you shoot a post fadeaway, and it goes in. You're at the end of the second quarter. It's a good game. Manu pulls down by five. At the end of the quarter, it's no good. That's great defense. Start of the third. The Kambi Matumbo in the paint. Puts it up, puts it in. But Manu Bull was not going to give up that easy. You go all the way for the dunk, and this game would come down to the last play in the fourth quarter. Come here, come here. Come here. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Where are you following? Let's go. Let's talk about the sponsor of today's video. SeatGeek. Yes, boys, your boy is finally sponsored by SeatGeek. When it comes to competition, SeatGeek has none. It's the number one rated ticketing app in the world with over 28 million downloads. That's a lot of people. There's over 70,000 events going on every single day. And you guys remember my Luca vlog when I went to the games? I went to them because of the SeatGeek app. This is where SeatGeek is by far the best. Let's say I want to go to the NBA playoffs, go to the Raptors home game one. They make it super easy. Green means you get a good seat. Red means you get a bad seat. And of course, you know your boy to come and clutch. Use your boy's code DENVER for $20 off your first purchase. Make sure you use my code only ever. Use my code. Click the link in the description, download the app. Thank you to SeatGeek for sponsoring this video. Manu Bull, you are now by one point, nine seconds left. What do you got here? Is that just at the top of the key? Manu Bull, point guard. He sees him down low. Manu Bull is in the paint. Manu Bull, and one, and one is good. Manu Bull, and one is good. Put in this free throw and that should be game. 
Money. Unless Matumbo's got this full court in the bag, that should be game. Yeah, no. That is game. Senegal is eliminated. Which means all that land in Africa is now Sudan's. After this, we had Australia going to New Zealand with Kyrie Irving eliminating Steven Adams. As well with China going to Myanmar, and that game wasn't even close. Right after this, we have the United States going southeast into Mauritania, completely dominating them, taking over a bit of Africa. And Greece with Giannis would also go southeast, ran to Turkey's land, and beat Hito Turkoglu, looking to expand into Asia. All right, I want to get Italy here. If possible, we might get Italy. Nope, it's on Portugal. And Portugal is going to go in northeast direction, which means Portugal is on the attack versus Spain. This is not going to be an easy one for them. We got a 78 overall Nemis Quetta versus a 93 overall Paul Gasol from Spain. Paul Gasol showed quick why Spain was one of the favorites. He was just putting it up over Portugal with ease. One second left on the clock. He's pulling a three-pointer. Gasol, no good. They get the offensive rebound. That's up and in. Powell's starting to feel himself. He was pulling up for three-pointers on the fast break. It wasn't looking good for Portugal. It's the second quarter, and Portugal is down by 20. They can have that layup, though. They made quick work of Portugal. They won by 50 points. Unlike soccer, this match was not close at all. Spain will defend their land and overtake Portugal. Wheel, who are you going to give us next? Uh, Spain again? No, we're going to get Italy. Which way are we going to attack? We are going southeast. Which means that Italy was heading right into Greece's territory with Giannis. Giannis has the ball at the top of the key. He's throwing a lot back door in prime Giannis fashion. Paulo's on Italy are playing well right now. They're up by 10. They see a backdoor cut too. They're getting their own lob. Paulo was off to a good start, but that wasn't going to stop Giannis from relentless attacking the rim. He was looking to mount the comeback, to say the least. Giannis, you got a couple seconds left. He's doing a step back. Giannis on another lob to end the quarter. Going into halftime. Giannis is that guy. 63-63 in the fourth. Giannis, he's going all the way to the rack. Giannis, you cannot stop him going all the way. Italy and Paulo, you need to tie up the game here. I don't know what kind of look you're going to get. Paulo's going to pull up for the mid-range. It's, it's not going to go. That's good defense from Giannis. Oh, God. You got Giannis on the break here. This can't be good news. Giannis on the lob over Paulo. Giannis is taking this game over, man. And Greece would edge out a close victory versus Paulo. Italy was no more. It was a part of Greece now. Okay, we have China versus India now. The battle of the seven-footers. We got Satam Singh, who's seven-foot-two, versus Yao Ming, who's seven-foot-six. India, this is a closer game than I thought here. You need a bucket here. He pulls up for a mid-range. That's not gonna ever go in. Okay, that was a good stop here. You guys need a bucket here, though. That's a good layup. You missed the layup. Yao Ming in the post. That's a post look. That's way too easy. India will put up a good battle, but in the end, Yao Ming was too much. He would catch a 10-point victory, and they would take over the land of India. It was now China. After this, we had the U.S. taking more of Africa, taking over Mali, as well with Argentina expanding and taking more of Africa, defeating Botswana, with Kyrie Irving defeating Tasmania, conquering the whole southeast side of the world. While Dominican Republic and Al Horford were a sleeper, they took over Puerto Rico, and you had Akeem getting his first win, expanding more to Africa, and North Korea defeating South Korea. This is the updated map and how it was looking. I need a big country here. China, Cameroon, that's Joel Embiid. Which ways they are going to take us? It's going to take us west. And West puts us right into Nigeria. Hakeem versus Joel Embiid. And defense would be the name of the game to start off as nobody had a bucket in the first two minutes of the game. Even Hakeem missed a wide open layup. All right, man, somebody's got to get up on the board at this point. Okay, Joel Embiid's open in the corner for a mid-range. He puts it in. Finally, somebody scored a basket. This is literally the battle of the post gods. Hakeem's posting up now with the drop step. Puts it in, cuts it to two. Couple seconds left in the quarter. Joel Embiid for the buzzer beater. No good. It's a two-point game going into half. He's trying to cut it down to two. Puts in a nice spin move. And beat him. It's no good. He grabs his own rebound. And he gets blocked by Hakeem. Coming in clutch. And Joel Embiid would not recover after that block. Hakeem and Nigeria would get the W and take over Cameroon and get more of Africa. What do we got next, baby? Spain? Okay, we got Spain again. And they're going to take us northwest. And when you put Spain northwest, that takes you right into Canada. You got a huge match here. Spain versus Canada. I am Canadian, so I would love Canada to win this. We'll see what happens. All right, Steve Nash, you're going to start off the game. You're too fast. That's the one thing. Steve Nash has the speed on him. This is the whole other half of it, though. Nash has the speed and quickness, while Paul Gasol just has the height. And Gasol would continue to abuse that as he went all the way on Steve Nash relentlessly. There was nothing he could do. Paul Gasol was just way taller. Spain is down by one right now. Nash and the Canadians are just outscoring the Spaniards right now. But he gets an open mid-range, and it's good. They're up by one point. Send a double team. Send a double team. You need to send a double team. No, you have to send a double team. They're too tall. With Nash and Canada being down by two, they would go on a backdoor cut and find a layup. Hey, Nash. Nash, we need a bucket here. Nash going all the way. Nash going all the way. 
Come on, Canada! We somehow need to stop here. We have to double team, but we're not double teaming. That's gonna be a bucket every time. Okay, that's a good screen. Steve Nash is pulling up around the screen. Steve Nash puts in the three-pointer. Canada leads by one. We just need one stop. Okay, you have to double team him. Yes, thank you. No, where was he going? Down by one. 10 seconds left on the clock. Steve Nash, what are we going to do here, man? We need a bucket for the win. Steve Nash, do something. Steve, he gets blocked. Steve, with the do or die bucket needed, Paul Gasol and the Spaniards came up clutch and got a game winning block. With that, Steve Nash and Canada were eliminated and Spain would take over that entire piece of land. Right after this, we'd see Panama going to Venezuela, get that win, take over that piece of land. Argentina would head up north into Brazil and get a win over Leandro Barbosa, claiming almost all of South America. Finland overtaking Poland and Romania overtaking Ukraine. Europe was losing a ton of its countries. As well with the last matchup being Russia defeating Kazakhstan, winning and having the biggest portion of land in the entire world. This is how the map looks right now. You got Russia, China, Argentina, and Spain owning the most land. All right, baby, I'm next on the wheel. We got Latvia, that's my boy Chris Stapps Porzingis, baby. Where are we going? We're going down south. And when you go down southwest, it leads you right into Lithuania. Our Venus Sabonis versus Chris Stapps Porzingis. Chris Stapps was coming off the bus. He was ready for this battle. We start off the game with one Chris Stapps passing it to another on the wing for the three-pointer. You know Chris Stapps got that strap. He wasn't missing any threes. Quick 3 0 start from my boy KP. He gets a screen at the top of the key. Nothing much going on here. He's open there, though. Chris Stapps, is that another three? That's another three-pointer. KP was taking it right at Arvidas. He couldn't stop him. Chris has a four-point lead here. Arvidas, you need a bucket. One second left. That's not going to go in. Yeah, no. Chris Stapps is going to win this game. On the wheel, baby. Let's see here. We got the United States of America. And the United States of America are going up north, baby. This is for the whole top left of the entire world. And just because Paul Gasol was facing Michael Jordan, he wasn't going to back down. He was using that post strength to get buckets inside and blocking Michael Jordan at the rim. All the MJs couldn't believe it. They thought this was going to be an easy matchup. Super close game here. MJ up by two. Sidestep mid-range. Classic Michael Jordan. Nasty mid-range jumper. All right, MJ's in the paint. MJ's going up with the lamp. MJ's going up with the lamp. Get another bucket. Probably stop Michael Jordan from scoring. He needs a bucket here, though, because our Paul Gasol can get the lead off a layup. He's going all the way for the dunk! Michael Jeffrey Jordan goes all the way for the dunk and the dagger. And the U.S. now own the most land in the entire world. Where are we going to go next? Mexico is up next, and we are going up. Northwest leads you right to Michael Jordan. And this game wouldn't even be close. The U.S. would have an easy game and take over the entire country of Mexico, now owning the entire Americas. Next up, we had Saudi Arabia attacking Yemen, but Yemen would defend their turf, and Saudi Arabia would be eliminated, as well with Mongolia attacking China, but they didn't stand a chance with the 7'6 Yao Ming. Back in Europe, we had Luka defeating Croatia and Serbia defeating Romania, with Luka and Jokic taking over. All right, come on. Give me a fire country, baby. What are we going to get? We're going to get Finland? Finland's not bad. I will take Finland. Which direction are we going to go? We're going to go southeast. And southeast leads us right into Russia. Finland can get an insane amount of land here if they win this game. But they're called Mother Russia for no reason. Andre Karolinko was not going to give up landies. Finland, you need to stop here. We need to stop. Andre Karolinko's pulling up on the break. He's putting it in from three. Finland, you were down by five. You need to stop. Watch the backdoor cut. I knew it. I knew it a mile away. Giannis ran that same play with Greece. As Finland gets taken down by Russia, we have our next spin here being China, an inch off North Korea. And when we head straight into the Western direction, we head right into Russia. China versus Russia. This is the biggest matchup by far of the video yet. With Andre Karolinko starting off with a step back three and going all the way for the dunk, Karolinko proved to be too fast and too quick for Yao Ming. He got the W and Russia took over all that land. Okay, what country do we got next? We got Senegal. I do not remember who's in Senegal. And Senegal is going to be attacking Northwest though. Wait, that means Taco Fall is going to attack Michael Jordan going Northwest. There is just no way that Taco Fall wins this matchup, right? Yeah, Michael Jordan, he's too quick too, but there's no way he wins this. Senegal, if you want a chance, you got to get a stop here. MJ with that classic sidestep mid-range, he's putting it in. The third quarter coming up here, MJ sees one. Down low with the behind, the head pass. That was nasty. This game wouldn't be a competition. MJ in the U.S. dominated Senegal. They took over another part of Africa. We also had Serbia invading Slovenia, but Luka defended that homeland and beat Jokic by 15 points. The wheel is getting smaller and smaller. We got Slovenia! We got Luka and Slovenia. Which way is this wheel gonna point us? We're going east. And if you travel east, you head right into Russia. 
Luka Doncic versus Mother Russia. This is gonna be one damn good game. They're going for the lob on the first play. There's too many damn lobs. It's a two point game. Luka's got the lead right now. Luka's gonna go for a lob of his own. The computer stole lobs damn near every play. Luka, you're cold. You're up by one though. If you get a bucket here, this could be the dagger, baby. Luka, what are you gonna do? He's getting blocked. Andre Karolinko's going down. Luka gets a block of his own! What a turn of events! Everybody's getting blocks! Russia need a bucket here if they want to go up by one. I do not want Russia to score, I'm not gonna lie. They pull up, they miss, they get the tip. Oh, guys, we gotta box out! Luka, we need a bucket. We got 30 seconds left on the clock. I just get out of a cold hand. No! Okay, we got the ball, we're fine. Come on, just pass it, pass it, pass it! That's gonna be a jump ball! And on the jump ball, Russia would end up winning it, causing Andre Karolenko to go the free throw line and putting Russia up three, with Luka having one last chance to tie the game. Six seconds left in the game. Luka, come on, baby! What are you gonna- You gotta hurry up! Luka's from the half court! It's like, what are you guys doing? Pass the ball up the court! I don't want Russia to keep winning. I wanted Luka to win that. And with that, this is how the map looks. Russia has an insane amount of space Honestly, too much. And right after, Yemen and Israel would both be eliminated. As well as Hashim to beat from Tanzania, invading Australia, but Kyrie would defend that land, they were eliminated. With these matchups done, there was less than 20 countries in total left. Okay, Will, what can he give us, baby? Greece, Sudan, we're getting Sudan. Which way is the air gonna point us? We're going up north. Takes us right into Nigeria territory. We got Manu Bol versus Hakeem Olajuwon. Hakeem is just literally too skilled. He's up by 30 points. Yeah, Hakeem, one on two. Gets the post work bucket. Nigeria would take over Sudan, owning almost all of Africa. Give me a fire country here on the wheel. We got Australia. That's my boy Kyrie Irving up next. And this arrow is gonna take us in the eastern direction. And if we travel all the way eastern, that hits us into South America with Argentina. Okay, Kyrie, Kyrie's going down the court. That's a good mid range for Kyrie. That's way too easy for Kyrie. Okay, we got a good stop there. We're going down again. Kyrie Irving and Australia is going down. Hits him with the Euro step with the left handed layup. That is Kyrie Irving if I've ever seen it. Argentina's down by two with a minute and 45 seconds left. They're gonna go all the way for the floater. Manu puts it in. We got a tie game. What are you gonna do? You got five Kyries on the court. You got five clutch players on the court. Kyrie Irving for three. Kyrie putting it up, putting it in. Kyrie Irving goes up by one point. Manu Ginobili, he's down by one. Argentina trying to protect that South American land. He's going all the way to the basket. Gets a blow by. He's up by one. Okay, Kyrie, you can hold to the very end here if you want. You're down by one point, though. Kyrie Irving gets the ankle breaker on Manu Ginobili. We got 10 seconds left in the game here. Kyrie Irving in the whole of Australia versus almost the whole of South America. Kyrie Irving kicks it back out. What are you doing? Kyrie Irving for the mid-range. Kyrie Irving for the mid-range. That's game. Australia protect their land, and they also invade South America. With this, we have Bolivia attacking Australia, losing that battle. And we had Nigeria trying to invade Greece, but it wouldn't work as Giannis defeats Hakeem. As well with Victor going right into Latvia and taking out Chris Haps Porzingis, showing who the real unicorn is. We got North Korea, we got North Korea. And the wheel's gonna point us in the Southwest direction. So North Korea has a chance to take over this entire plot of land. And you have a seven foot six monster named Ri Ming Hun. But Andre Karolinko being a jack of all trades proved to stand out as he would expose North Korea's weakness perimeter defense. The wheel is so small now. Am I gonna get Greece? Am I gonna get Greece, baby? Which way are we gonna go? Northeast. Which means Greece is going right into Turkmenistan. We're trying to invade that land. This man is not even an NBA player. Giannis, this guy was a baller for Turkmenistan, but I expect him to go crazy. Giannis is gonna feed down low again. Giannis, we're going all the way for the layup. We're up by 15. The problem is you could be good on offense too, but you're facing the whole team of Giannis. Yeah, that's, that's, that mid-range is not gonna work. It's never gonna go in versus Giannis. With that game over, Giannis comfortably took all of that land. Next up on the wheel, we got Francais, a bunch of jump out Denver. We're going into the southwest direction, which means France is facing the United States. Let's go! Huge matchup here, Victor, to start the game off. France was looking to take over with Victor, a seven foot five phenom was looking to post on Michael Jordan and use that height advantage every single time. Victor up by five, just use that height. Use that height and strength. That's all you gotta use. This is the hard part though. You gotta play defense against Mike. MJ's gonna post up. That's good defense. That's good defense. That's not going in. That is good defense from Victor. Okay, Victor gets another bucket. He'll be up by pretty much double digits. That's in the paint. That's another easy bucket. And Victor would hold on to this nine point lead the whole game. Edging out the victory versus Michael Jordan in the United States. What do we got next on the wheel? 
We're back with Mother Russia, and we are going in the southeast direction. Southeast direction puts us right up against Kyrie Irving. This is a great matchup. You have one of the most skilled basketball players all time at six foot three versus a jack of all trades defender. Andre Karolink. One thing the other teams don't do that Kyrie is doing is double teaming in the post, which is really smart. Russia missed that three. They're forcing stops. All right, we can really use a bucket here. I do not want to be a one possession game. Anything above that, I'm pretty comfortable with. You have Kyrie in the corner. Kyrie in the corner, puts it in. It's a two possession game. If Australia managed to get one stop here, they should have this game in hand. Okay, 47 to go all the way to the basket. They see one down low. Just don't foul, just don't foul. And he puts it in. Just don't foul. Karolinko will finish the end one, but the game came down to free throws and Kyrie wasn't missing them. Australia eliminate Russia and take over that whole piece of land. And on the wheel, we end up getting France. Which way will the arrow point us? We're gonna go in the Southeast direction. Which means on the map, France is attacking Greece. Victor Wembanyama versus Giannis to see who's in the fouls versus Kyrie. How are we gonna start off the game? Who's gonna get the first bucket? I mean, we got Giannis with the ball here. Let's see, Giannis is gonna go into the post, shoot a post fadeaway. Giannis puts in the post fadeaway. I'm 90% sure they're gonna run that same play. Let's see, Victor Wembanyama goes to the rack. Even Victor is too tall for Giannis. And throughout the course of the game, even in the third quarter, they go back to it. Giannis couldn't stop it. Giannis fade away, no good. Get the board, good rebound. I don't know how, good pump fake. He puts it up, he puts it in. This is a great game. One thing that France could not stop Greece from doing was going to the rack. He also uses size and strength and just body Victor at the cup. Giannis, you can put a dagger in it here. There's a, two minutes left. You can get a good lead here. Good hero step, Giannis, goaltending. Where's the goal to, where is the goaltending? Giannis, you have an eight point lead. Yet one stop here and that is for sure game. Giannis is playing that defense, baby. Great block from Giannis Antetokounmpo. Greece are taking that land. Which means there's only two countries left. Australia versus Greece. You have Kyrie Irving versus Giannis Antetokounmpo. All right, now here's the thing. How is Kyrie supposed to defend Giannis the paint? Giannis gets a dunk to start it off. Now here's the thing though. If I'm gonna trust anybody to try and beat Giannis who is small, it's gonna be Kyrie Irving. He's taking it to the rack here on Giannis. That's what I mean. He finishes damn near anything. Giannis, what do you got here, baby? Two seconds left in the corner. One sec, you got a step back mid range. No good. It's deadlocked at 50 at halftime. All right, a minute 50 left. Come on, Giannis got the ball. He's just too big. He's going for the Euro step. He's going down low. That's going to go in every time. Kai, we need a bucket, man. We need one, and we need one now. Kyrie, 4 3. Kyrie, 4 3. Come on, baby. Let's go, Kai. Give me one stop. Can you give me a stop, Kyrie? Can you give me a stop? Giannis is going for the lock. Tie game, a minute left for world domination. It doesn't get literally any better than this. Kyrie's going around the screen. Kyrie Irving's pulling up over the screen. Kyrie Irving pulls up over the screen. Three point lead. Literally one stop here, Kyrie. End its game. You have a minute left. I know you're gonna score. Kyrie Irving, Giannis over the screen. There's no way that goes in. How did, what the, what is this game right now? All right, 100, 100. Everybody is scoring three-pointers. Nobody is missing. Kyrie Irving, this is an open three-pointer. Kyrie Irving puts it in. He's back up by three points. Stop, one stop. 40 seconds left on the clock. You just need one stop. Kyrie Irving's playing good defense. Giannis for the mid-range. That's no good. Kyrie Irving gets the rebound. Bucket here in last game. Score a mid-range or something. Score something easy. You could have shot that there. Kyrie going all the way. No, Giannis says no. But Kyrie would channel his inner game seven after this and go for the dagger right over Giannis. 20 seconds left. Kyrie for war combination. Around the screen, he's open. Kyrie Irving, game seven, world domination. Australia is gonna win the whole thing. Kyrie Irving and Australia take over the entire world, being crowned the best country for basketball in the world. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to check out this video right here, where every time LeBron scores, he gets upgraded.